this piece right here I pulled out. I really like it. Kalua Canyon Guide Outfitters. All right, that's a decent shirt too. This is Good Life Roots. You see the print on there? Very nice. Bobby Brown, Bill Bib DeVoe, Rescue Tape. That's cool. Deluxe Fine Uniball. That's a nice pen right there. Oh, 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 this is good right here. Oh, guys, look. Look at this. We got some money. Food saver. Made in Nepal. That's actually a really neat piece. Ooh, this bag's got some weight. That's neat. Little elephant. That's a little different. Got some electronics here. You know what this makes me feel like? It makes me feel like maybe they were, they had a funeral. Oh, this is kind of neat. Some patches in here. We got a bunch of jewelry here. All right, what's up locker nuts? Are you guys ready for an adventure? We're in a storage locker, big surprise, right? Most of the videos start out that way. This one's mine. All right, this is one of my four storage lockers that I personally rent. This one's the smallest one, if you can believe that, 10 by 20. That's my smallest. I have a 10 by 30 and two 12 by 30s. Uh, but hey, here's what we're doing today. We're gonna, uh, I've just been spending the morning reorganizing. I pulled all this stuff out right here. This is all, I don't know, scrap metal, a few things to take to the market, supplies, like tents and uh, clothes racks etc this is what we got unload right here this beast right here this is this is a pretty good load this is my eight and a half by 16 trailer and yeah you can see the size of it it's not tiny it's not tiny there's bigger ones but there's a lot of smaller ones we got to get not the whole thing but maybe two-thirds of that trailer put in here and that came out of a 10 by 15 locker so it should fit in this 10 by 20 um because i don't have to take the front one third out see back here there's a lot of bins a lot of black and yellow totes those are easy to move meaning that they're big contained stack well but they are heavy there's a lot of heavy stuff in there if you watched the last couple episodes uh you know where this is coming from this came from a 10 by 15 unit i bought in union city i spent a lot of money on this 3710 is over 4000 with uh oh, i just realized i got my airpods in <laughs> listening to some music while i was working 3710 plus fees over four grand into this i spent a lot of money i liked how many totes there were i I like that it looked clean but most importantly i like that i did a little research on the owner and found out that he is deceased he passed away in may so far we've i think had two episodes of going through this stuff i had one day to clean it out meaning that I, they didn't give me much time. I was up against the last day. One day to do it all, and it was a close call to get it out in time. I literally was running in and out of the trailer bringing boxes, but I got it all. But um, now what I need to do is unload it because I can't process it when it's stuffed full like that. So I got to get the stuff out, at least the last two thirds of it, I'd say, so I can get it out, and then we start going through it, and then I'll start putting it back in again as I go through it. The trailer needs to go to the market. So all the market stuff's gonna go in there, meaning Stockton Flea Market, that'll be the next step. In here, I'm going to keep the better stuff, uh, stuff for a better flea market, meaning De Anza, and stuff to go into our live auctions. Anyways, this is what we do. We sort, we sort, we sort, and of course, we got the garbage too. We're going to sort out. Right now, let me just start unloading this thing, and then I'll resume filming when we're ready to unbox. Are you guys ready to unbox? How about we get started right now? Okay, I haven't gotten too far, um, yeah, but I did change. I was going to put everything in here and then start going through it. A little bit of change of mind, change of plan. I'm going to start um, a little differently. Check this out. I got five bins already put aside of good stuff. Good stuff, meaning stuff I got to take home and go through a second time. A lot of plush. There's some Blu-rays, toys, um, a lot of good stuff. This bin over here, this is, well, whatever, one bin of clothes going to De Anza. I'm gonna take these prints, I think the De Anza, a little bit better ones. I love that Star Wars one, that's so cool. This piece right here I pulled out, I really like it, Kahlua. Um, it's plastic, it's not neon, it's like a faux neon. It's, uh, but it's still cool, even though it's plastic, right? It's still cool. What's going on with this? I don't know how all this stuff works together, but hmm, it looks like you, you can put the screws in right there, but they, maybe they use this bracket or something to hold it in place. Uh, I don't know. What do you think, guys, on that Kahlua Unleash in moderation? I, this is a nice little sign. Decent condition. I'm taking that to Dianza for sure. Try to sell it out there. Put it back here. That's a neat piece. Neat piece. I'd like to look up the value before I sell it, but it might not work out that way. <laughs> it just doesn't sometimes. Okay, let's see what's in here. This is a bag of sunk clothes, probably. Feels like clothes. Right, let's, just, let's just get ready. Let's do it. So we found decent stuff in this locker, but not not like I was hoping, right? 
I was hoping for much better actually. That's kind of a nice Quicksilver. I don't think Quicksilver has too much value, but I'll take that to Dienza. Massimo, that goes to Stockton. We do a lot of sorting on this channel, guys. Uh, that's a large part of what I do. Sorting, trying to get the items separated better. I, well, that's nice, OP. Swim trunks, size large, huh? Hmm. I'm not large, but that seems too big for me. Those are pretty cool, though. I'm gonna put them aside. <laughs> I'll put some stuff aside and decide if I want to keep it later. Right now, I feel like I don't want a rush decision. Extra large on Tasso Ella. That's a decent brand right there. Oh, this is cool. I'm getting some Hawaiian shirts. These guys moved to Hawaii. Jamaica Jacks right there. Extra large. It's pretty cool. I'll put that aside. We do well with Hawaiian shirts in our live auction. I actually, I mean, I don't know if we do well, but we sell them. We don't get a whole lot of money, but Makapu made in Hawaii. Extra large right there. That's pretty dope. There's another OP. I really like OP. That was a brand I used to wear when I was like a teenager. Ocean Pacific. It's pretty cool. Croft and Barrow, not a bad brand, but four, size 44, wow, okay. That'll do well in Stockton, I think. Those big sizes are harder to find. Canyon Guide Outfitters, all right, that's a decent shirt too. Um, I'm not gonna bore you guys with going through every piece of clothes here. I'll, put, I'll go through this and pull out anything that looks a little bit better. Westinghouse, nice little iron right there. All right, guys, I put only a couple shirts over in the Dianza stack. Uh, this is going to be taken home. This entire thing right here is all like nice buttoned up collar shirts, a lot of Hawaiian stuff, decent stuff. Not everything's good brands like this is uh, Faded Glory. That's not a high end brand. Still a nice shirt. Croft and Barrow, nice shirts. But there's some other stuff in here. Look at this Rain Spooner right there, Hawaii traditional. There's some nicer stuff. And then I put this stuff aside right here. Uh, this shirt right here, I don't know what this is Good Life Roots. Handcrafted in Los Angeles. I don't, this just seems, it's extra large. It just seems like a nicer quality shirt and I, I dig the print. I think that's cool. That'll go to Dienza. But um, that's 10 bucks at least, right? There's a Tommy Bahamas 100% silk. That's definitely on the nicer end of the shirts that I found. And what a beautiful print also. So that's going to go in our live auction. We'll do big lots. This right here, very cool. Jack Johnson, not an old concert shirt, but still a concert shirt, 2017. You see the print on there, very nice long sleeve. Or actually, what is that? A three-quarter length sleeve or something? I don't know. But that's a size large. I like that. Oh, no, that's an extra large. Okay. But anyways, what's going on right here? Ah, we got a little separation right there. That's too bad. All right. Well, still, I think 10 bucks um, at Dienza. This right here, Cook Street Honolulu. 100% cotton. So not a, not a uh, silk one, but I think Cook Street's one of the better brands. And... Uh, very nice shirt. Very cool. This one right here, styled by RJC Limited, and it says Hawaii right there. Uh, I don't see it saying silk. It's a little faded. I, this doesn't feel like silk. I think it's rayon or something. Maybe it is silk. Can't tell with certainty if that's silk. Nice. Very, very lightweight. And then the last one right here, we got another Tommy Bahama. Extra large, 100% silk. It's a very basic right there, basic piece. Brown with a nice Hawaiian type pattern there. This is a good shirt. So, uh, uh, I mean, look at when I take it out of the bag. I can't believe this is probably a thousand dollars in shirts, you know, retail value, easily a thousand bucks, I think. Some of these Tommy Bahamas, these are like 75 to 100 each, and there's a couple of those um, in a garbage bag. <laughs> in a garbage bag. Such good stuff in garbage bag. But, anyways, um, that's it. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Fine. Okay, let's see what's in this bin. Okay. <laughs> That explains why it was so dang heavy. This is a bunch of CDs. Let's see. Okay, we've got some discs in there. That's good, because we found a lot of loose discs. And, oh, there's Cheryl Crow. Okay, I was going to say, I haven't recognized anyone yet. High five. I don't know these bands. Huh. Okay, there's Kenny G. Soul Food Soundtrack. There's a sealed brand new. Oh, man. Okay, and then we got some pictures down there. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> this stuff takes so much time to go through these CDs, but I am going to go through these. Usually we put these in our live auctions also in big lots, but I'm not sure if I'll do that with these. I'm not sure if I'm feeling it. We'll see. Okay, that's what we got. I got a little better organization going here. A lot of R&B. A lot of like, uh, well, there's Prince, but I see like Bobby Brown, Ralph Tresvant, Bill Bib DeVoe. I see that kind of stuff in here. A fair amount. There's obviously a lot of different stuff in there, but... This was the rest of it here. This is all picture frames. And I must say, uh, quite a few more pictures of Janet Jackson. <laughs> There's a couple right there. Quite a few more pictures of Janet Jackson as well as personal photos. All right, next bin. Okay. Placemats, wait. 
I almost felt like we went through this already because I think I've seen these same placemats in other other uh, boxes. Probably did. So this right here, that's a Disney Parks. It's another thing that they probably picked up at the park. Paid an extra five bucks for the souvenir cup, and this is where that stuff ends up at. Mm -hmm. I see waste of money, waste of money, waste of money, <laughs> waste of money. Such a waste of money. Oh, that's a Olani. That's that resort, Disney Resort in Hawaii. Very expensive. There's a little flask. It's all messed up though. See, it's all like it's got gashes in it. Hmm, that's decent. Budweiser. There might be a few decent things in here. Uh, let me do as I do. Let me get all this stuff out, and uh, I'll show you guys the best stuff to come out of here. Okay, not a lot of good stuff in there. A little bit of cookware. That glass piece right there would have been worth a few bucks, but it's they got chips in it. Chips. Um, we got this piece right here. Now, this is more like the kind of stuff I thought I'd find in there. A little hand-carved wooden tray. It's pretty nice. That'll definitely go to Dienza. We'll give that a try. And then there's three bags here. Three mystery bags. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, boy. A bunch of batteries. Some old matchbooks. <laughs> Some old lighters. <laughs> more batteries. A couple more lighters and a half a half uh, used cigar there. Jeez. Little twisty ties. Uh oh. Hoarder alert. Hoarder alert. <laughs> yep. That's what I'm feeling. And this is what the hoarders do. <laughs> yeah, I've actually got a little bin here for. The batteries discard those proper and this one right here looks like it's all uh, bottle openers that's a nice one yeah, that's that okay another miscellaneous bag right here calculators staplers ay 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 notebooks notepads I mean armadillo willies great restaurant those are cool when they work little punch lights there and cowboys and aliens. What's that? I'm not sure what that is. Brand new. And a sharpie. That's a good pen. And some more twisty ties. What the heck? Hey guys, let's take a quick break real real fast. I want to show you something. Look at all these packages. This this is nuts right here. All these packages are about to go to the post office. Everything you see there, with the exception of maybe like two packages, two things I sold on eBay, all the other stuff in there was all sold on our whatnot auction on Thursday. So you guys, maybe if you watched the other episodes, you heard me talking about whatnot. It's this great live stream app for your phone, tablet. You can also do it on the computer, but it's really built for the mobile devices. They built it for live auctions. It's really dialed in and we're fans of the, uh, of the app we're fans of whatnot but now we're also selling on there so thursday which was just a couple days ago when i'm filming this uh we did our first show and wow it was i mean it was it was pretty incredible you see all those packages in the van that's proof of what we sold 255 lots and 121 i think unique addresses they're going to all day yesterday, I was packing and shipping. We're really thrilled with it. Um, and it, we're doing them, let's see, we're doing them every Thursday. There's three more shows. I don't know when you guys are gonna watch this. Maybe you watch it, you know, months later, it's already over, but three more shows. So February 26th is the next one. And then the, every Thursday after that. So we got three more shows selling the great stuff from this locker. I wanna invite you guys to go check it out. Join us, buy some stuff if you like it. And you know, if you like the stuff that we're selling, we have a little bit of everything, jewelry, Disney, clothing, shoes, video video games, coins. I mean, that's just a little bit of a little bit of variety there is a lot of other stuff too stuff from this locker also stuff from previous lockers stuff you're going to recognize from the videos if you watch the channel okay so also we're going to put the link in the description of this video if you click that link you get 15 bucks off if you sign up on whatnot if you've never used it before you're going to get $15 spending credit for free just by using the link all right guys that's it let's get back to the video and see what else we find okay next one. Oh boy oh boy look at this look at this Oh man, this is someone's like kitchen drawer. That's what this is. Someone's kitchen drawer right here. Dura Sharp. Let's see what's in here. Could be something good. Freedom isn't free. Some kind of little charm. It's broken though. What's this pin? D. That's not so good. Man, there's a lot of miscellaneous stuff in here though. Rescue tape. That's cool. Stretch, wrap, and get rescued. Self-fusing, permanent seal. This is good stuff, waterproof. This kind of stuff, I think you can, like, underwater, like, fix.
fix a pipe or something underwater. Crazy. All right, that one's still good. Oh, look at this. What do we got here? A couple pocket knives. Um, what does that say? K bar? K bar. I think that's decent. It looked like an old timer at first. Made in the USA. K bar. Ooh, super sharp. Dang. Got a second knife here too. Second blade. Yeah. Nice. Super sharp on that also. That's it feels like a quality knife. That's a good find. And what's this one? Valor. 550 made in Japan. That's sharp also. Another really nice blade right there. Looks like the tip's been broken off right there before. Still decent. Cool. Oh, I got some money. Oh, oh, guys, look. Look at this. We got some money. And I don't see any wheat pennies in there, but still, we got a bunch of pennies. That's cool. Oh, my goodness. Lots of stuff in here. It's in the box. A little keychain. Crown Royal. Nice. Statue of Liberty. Bottle opener. It's pretty cool. Souvenir piece. Another bottle opener. Decent screwdriver. Probably drill bits or something here. Yeah, little screwdrivers. Cool. Ow, I just stuck myself on something. What's this? Oh, this is more bottle openers. It looks like it doubles as coasters also. Empty. A little bit of tools in here. Not sure what that is. Oh, it's a flashlight. Okay. Tape measure. Oh, that's nice right here. For climbing and mountaineering use. Oh, this is the real deal one right here. REI. Very nice. That's cool. You know, when I find these, I almost always find them that says something like, not for climbing. You know, like a disclaimer, because they're not very strong. Deluxe fine uniball. That's a nice pin right there. Crazy glue. Okay, we'll keep that. We use that. Okay, well, I'll pick that up later. Nope. Sometimes I find jewelry in the in those Alphoid bins, so you got to look at those. Uh, there's that's what's poking me is the screws in there sticking through the bag okay, look at that. now this is like the what i'm talking about these right here that's alameda county sheriff's organization not for climbing it says right there not for climbing that's exactly what i was talking about i still use these a lot but um the other one definitely better i don't think i've actually ever found one that was for climbing this is probably 20 bucks right there brand new all right guys that looks like that's about it look at that there's a few more um I'll go through this. I will go through it carefully. I'll let you know if I find anything else that's good. Okay, there was nothing exciting in there. So let's look in this bag. Ah, oh, man, that's a that's a Pokemon, right? That's one of the Pokemons. Why is it so dirty? Inside the bag and dirty. Bummer. Yeah, Pokemon right there. Huh. Too bad. Wow. Okay, maybe he's not uh, too bad. You know, like, he <laughs> looks like he's been rolling in the hay. Definitely, it looks like they took him outside for some reason. Man. I, eh, we'll just take them to Stockton. That should be probably a $10 or $20 stuffed animal right there. Pretty cool. Go to Stockton and hope to get five. All right, now this one. Okay. Oh, 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 this is good right here. Look at this. I've got a food saver. Who asked me for a food saver? Uh, in one of the recent lockers, or maybe it was the last locker before this one, I found not a food saver, but same type of thing. A home vacuum packaging system. It wasn't a food saver, though. And I'm like, well, let me put it aside just in case I find the real thing. But you know what? There ain't nothing like the real thing, baby. <laughs> Tell me you get that, right? Ain't nothing like the real thing, baby. That's, this is a good little find right here. And, uh, yeah, it's not like a super, I've had nicer models, you know, more expensive models. This is a mini plus, um, but still a decent find. Shoot, it's so good. I'm going to put it up here. And then I see right here, just as good as these bags right here, the extra bags. This is good stuff. Okay, but I also see a BB-8 in there. What's this? Disney Parks. Okay. Oh, it's a drink. It's a drink container. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so cheesy. Uh, I was hoping it was like one of those robotic ones. Wait, what's this? Food saver. Oh, okay. Square canister. Huh. It's nothing to do. It's not a vacuum sealer. It's pretty dang nice, though. That's a really nice one. Look at this. Donut pan. Mini donut pan. Oh, by Crock-Pot? Really? No. Oh, wait, what? It's to go inside of a crock pot? A slow cooker? Huh, <laughs> that's so funny, right? Uh, this must... Why was this in there? I don't understand that. This is not crock pot. Hmm, huh. still kind of a neat little piece, though. All right, what else we got in here? There's some steak knives here. Four brand new steak knives. That's decent. 
A little ice cube tray. Oh, that's a little candle. That's kind of neat. This is, again, more of the stuff, kind of stuff that I thought we'd find in this locker. And $34.95, Eyes of the World, it says. Made in Nepal. That's actually a really neat piece. That's going to go to Dienza. I don't know if there's really a mark for that Dienza, because we've never tried that kind of stuff, so we'll find out. Stick around if you guys want to know. We'll, we'll definitely be filming the market. It's actually, today's Saturday. It's actually next week um, is Dienza, and we'll probably take that stuff out there. But right now, it looks like... Oh, that's a knife block right there. Knife block, probably for those four knives I just pulled out. Okay. Yep, I think those were those. Were, oh, well. Um, but right now, it is it is scheduled to rain, which is really too bad. Papina, it says. Japan. That's kind of cool. It's a crest for something. Hmm. Metal. Decent. And a little picture box there. Another Hot Topic bag. There's a Jenga, older Jenga game right there. That's pretty cool. Before, not cool. <laughs> Good little Sharpie. Ooh, this bag's got some weight. And whatever this is, some collectibles in there. Ah, something broke right there. Giant's bag. Follow me to County Vector Control Services. I'm not sure what that is. It's a refrigerator magnet, but oh man, here's a whole bunch of refrigerator magnets. Okay, nothing too cool there. Oh man, tons of refrigerator magnets, but these are lame ones. I do not know what this is. It says Sucre, and then it says New Orleans. And I didn't realize the New Orleans part. It looks like a claw or something. Is that like a chicken claw or something? I can't tell if it's real and been coated in something, or if that's like just resin, like just a, a, a replica. I don't know, I'm gonna put that aside. That's a, Oh, there, it just slides open. That's a little weird. Maybe I shouldn't have cut the string, but that's a little weird. It is. We got all these refrigerator magnets, and we got some kind of voodoo stuff. Maybe. All right, we have here magnet packs here for giants. Why do they have so many of them? It's official stuff, right? See that World Series? It's got the official holographic sticker there, and it's twenty bucks brand new. Each of these is twenty bucks. There's eight of them. That's basically one hundred and sixty bucks brand new. That was their cost. Uh, the rest of the stuff, I don't see anything too exciting. It's Incredibles, but that's like a really bad... Oh, it's, it just cut it out of something. Jeez. Okay. Yep. These ones are a little bit better. This looks like real refrigerator magnets here. We might put those aside. We'll do a refrigerator magnet in our auction at some point. I don't know if these are good enough, though. There's color purple. Justin Timberlake. Those are a little bit better. Jay Leno. Wicked. Lestat, the vampire. There's a little Hawaii. Just a little thing of cheese. It's funny. There's a hat in there. It looks a little vintage, but not cool vintage. That's neat. A little elephant. Looks like the top's been chipped up. Some kind of clay piece. Yeah, the top's been chipped up. That's too bad. I'm still going to put it aside of the better market. Uh, yeah, it's just neat. What else we got going on in here? What do we, what do we lose here? That's too bad. That was a really pretty piece, whatever that was before. Maybe this is one of the ones that fell down. One of the bins that fell down. Um another piece right there these are yeah, made in japan it says on that this is cool i mean whatever something else is broken too looks like this fish has got some broken parts in there yeah some something broke off somewhere so we'll just pass that on to stockton <laughs> look at that little guy <laughs> that's funny dollar fifty on that it's not terribly expensive well, let's see what's in these i'm curious what kind of collectibles we got here and I say collectibles just because it says gift collections. Made in China. Okay. Hawaii. A little Hawaii piece. It's cute. Let's see what this one is. I think this is all going to be like tourist garbage that they sell. Like maybe like the, what do they call it? The international market over in Hawaii. <laughs> like just tourist stuff. Yeah. It's cute. But yeah, it's not collectible stuff. It's just stuff. Okay, so what do we got? One, two, three, four, five of those. I'm not going to open the other ones. We'll leave it there. I think we'll probably put those in our live auction. Maybe somebody would be interested in those. I don't really know. This is Disneyland, just some boxes. Little gift boxes or something. Or maybe they're even lunch trays, I don't know. Crayons and a little canvas and some paint. Last stuff here, a little sock monkey. This is neat. These are little swatches of fabric, maybe to make a quilt or something. Put those aside. Little music box. 
Is the baby that sits on top? What? I don't know if those necessarily went together. This is like a Cupid doll, isn't it? That might have some age on it. And then this. Alright, whatever this is, that broke a long time ago because it's a cross. That was actually pretty nice too. But it broke. Not in this bag. I, it must have broke before because it was folded like that. So it was in pieces when they packed it up. Okay, this box right here is something that I was loading basically in the dark. And this is all miscellaneous. I think the box was empty. I threw this stuff in there. This is all loose stuff that was kind of in the back on top of that card table. Couldn't even see what it was. Okay, what do we got here? A bunch of napkins and chopsticks. So a lock right there, a decent lock that'll probably sell. I don't know. Okay, so there's a Tom Ford display of some sort for fragrances. Okay, don't think that's too valuable. Christmas card or something. So, hmm, I think that's just gonna go to Stockton, but that's a little different. It's like here we got some. What do we got here? It's not. It looks. It's wastebasket bags, but it's not though. It's not. It's not. It's not. I promise. What the heck is this? That's a bulb of some sort. What? Okay. It's gonna plug in like that. Off, on, plug it in. It's gonna do something. I don't know. Rainbow. Oh, we'll take it to the Dianza. Got some electronics here. What's that? Digital Stream DTV RCA. I think that's an antenna. I might be wrong, but I think it's an antenna. That also looks like an antenna. There's a pot lid. <laughs> Put that with the pots and pans over there. And another one. So I have a feeling these are for receiving the digital. These are co digital converters, I think. So when you get the antenna, um, it probably do with those TVs, right? Those look the same. I think they're to go to these. Oh, man. That's a bummer. That did not look like that when I put it in there. <laughs> that was a casualty of the rush, rush, rush last night. This piece. It was like a wastebasket or a vase or something. Not anymore. All right, this one looks okay. Yeah, this is what happens, guys. I mean, I was doing my best last night. It was getting really, really frantic at the end. This one looks pretty good. This face, I see some brass or something in here. Okay, and that just happened. You shove that in there, that's what's gonna happen. Jeez. Okay, it's gonna be hard to make money if I'm breaking all the merchandise. Okay, a couple little trivets and a couple little coasters. These right here are fake plants. It looks like they're pulled out of some styrofoam or something. Maybe that's glue. Uh, but it looks like fake succulents right there. There's a bunch of them in there. This is all plastic bags, I think. And this is a little bit more fake plants. Okay, this box, this is all the stuff that was uh, spilled all over the floor. I mean, most of it I just threw away, but a little bit of usable stuff. Napkins, placemats, yeah. Silverware, brand new. Plates, brand new. Um, a big serving spoon and spatula and a couple of these candles right here. You know what this makes me feel like? It makes me feel like maybe they were, they had a funeral. Oh, and look at this. I just opened that to see how many are left in there. And here's photos. I bet you that's the father. Um, big photos. Okay, so interesting. Okay, so, hmm. I'll tell you guys what. I thought it was the mom's funeral. I thought it was the mom's funeral because I thought the father died recently and I didn't think they threw the stuff in there that recently. What's this? A bunch of makeup? Hmm. Yep, some makeup. All right. Um, okay. Yeah, this is a little perplexing. I it doesn't really line up with the story I was told, but you know, that they had moved to Hawaii and couldn't get back here to do this for the father's stuff. Seems maybe more likely the father passed away and then they threw the stuff in there. Maybe it was his locker that he already had and they just added to it, but now I'm thinking they did have access to this since his passing. One thing that I don't like is that they asked for the purple heart back, which I, of course they ask it and I don't have a problem with them asking, but it's like, why didn't they just get it? Why didn't they get it out? There wasn't an issue of access to the facility. It seems like maybe they were just like, uh, just didn't feel like going through it, going through the stuff. Okay, got some kind of uh, floaty and inflatable right here, some sort of a floaty. Some lays. <laughs> There's some coconuts to wear. Grass skirt, what's going on here? I don't know. There's another floaty in there and some more lays. There's some more floaties in there and some lays. Grass skirt, I don't know what this stuff is, but it's kind of Hawaii themed. 
that'll just go straight to the market all right i'll tell you guys what um i've got so much to do this and i'm going really slow today there's just not that much good stuff coming out there is a little bit of interesting stuff but not as much as i really was hoping and now just right now learning that this was accessed since his passing right otherwise how would they get the photos in there those are obviously from a funeral the big print over there i thought i thought might be from a funeral that's um you know a common thing to do is print big pictures of the person so even when you're sitting far away you can see him and remember him but i thought there's also big pictures of the mother so i thought maybe the mom passed away and that was the funeral stuff that i found because it looked like there's some catering going on common at funerals but now i'm thinking no that maybe the mom passed away previously maybe recently that's why she had big prints made and then the father passed away but now i'm like i don't know i'm a little soured a bit to be honest because they got in this locker since his passing and also just the fact that some of these bins look like everything's been thrown inside just chaos no care at all given to it maybe he had this the father had this locker is in the father's name for sure maybe he had the locker maybe he passed then the kids just said hey let's just uh throw the rest of his crap from his apartment or whatever in these bins throw it in there and just go delinquent because it's his credit that's going to get ruined not ours and who cares he's passed away anyways and really who cares it's not you know i'd probably do the same thing like not really care but uh not dealing with the stuff i i don't respect that at all but um anyways we're gonna keep uh keep going keep looking for stuff i i do need to find Find enough stuff to make four grand with I haven't found that yet we've probably found a couple thousand dollars worth of stuff so far and we're not even halfway through this but I, I gotta speed this up this isn't quite the treasure hunt I was hoping but I will turn the camera on when I get to a good bin but right now let me knock off some bins and make some progress I don't have all day to put in this okay this one's kind of interesting look at all these Disney bags Disney parks Disney parks right but uh, yeah I was like oh maybe toys maybe collectibles nope all bathroom products here bath and body works body lotion um yeah not 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 what i was hoping so much partially used products like this is that's empty basically i don't even know why that's in here look at this thing it's empty and the labels completely wore off aromatherapy resting cream resting cream aromatherapy and skincare in one that's pretty nice but dude so much Look at this one. More. This is all the shower caps and stuff. Is that what this is? Ay, ay, ay. So much stuff. Look at this one. More stuff. But that's like basically used and gone. Um, why? That's what I'm asking. Why? Cleansing body wash. So much stuff. Okay, so I'm assuming the rest is going to be the same. Man. This bin was kind of heavy too. I got kind of excited for a second. But no. no, 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 There's a bunch of soap. Yeah, it'll sell at the market for sure. I mean, I don't know for sure, but I mean, it, people will use it. It'll either sell or we'll give it away. Uh, it'll go to a new home. It'll be used at some point. Uh, but yeah, I don't, maybe five bucks in this bin. All right, we're finding some, yeah, some decent stuff. Some scrapbooking stuff, some sewing stuff. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Oh, this is kind of neat. Some patches in here. And I see Coldplay. I have found a few things from Coldplay that he had. He must have gone to a concert or something. A little bit of Lilo and Stitch uh, key rings there. So, yeah. These are nice right here. This is one of the better things I found recently. A few ornaments. Disney stuff, but definitely a little better quality. Got two of these identical, but I like that stuff. That's neat. And then right here, this is uh, very, very cool. This is a keeper, guys. This is a keeper. That's a Santa suit. It looks like a pretty, pretty good quality uh, costume. Rubies right there. It says rubies. What I think is really interesting is, look at this. It comes on a hanger. It comes on a hanger. So, um, I've never seen a costume that comes like that. Oh, there, yeah, right there. Rubies Costume Company. Richmond Hill, New York. It says it's made in China, but I think that is a decent quality suit. And you know what? Christmas right around the corner, and I don't have a Santa suit. I think we could have some fun with that. So I'm definitely going to put that aside. That's that's a keeper. All right, guys. I'm finding a ah, bunch of DVDs in there. A whole bunch. I mean, a lot of DVDs. Check this out. All these. But then also, look at this. This whole thing right here. This big old brick. It looks like it might be all DVDs. And then in these bags right here. Look at this. <laughs> look at all those DVDs. Return of the King, Lord of the Rings, another one. 
Wow. Um, yeah, these are all full of DVDs, like hundreds and hundreds. These are all some red boxes right here, and then some empty containers there. Nothing too exciting. I've got a little bit for the flea market there, a little coin bank there. But this is one thing I wanted to just take a look at. Look at this. This is a uh, Disneyland envelope right here. I think when you go there and you buy the photo, when they take the photo of you, they put it in these envelopes. But um, there's, it's not there. There's just brochures. And what's kind of strange is these have been cut. See that? Oh no, that's folded. But a lot of these have been cut. I'm assuming they take the photos out and use it like a collage or something. There's a map. Um, but look at all of this stuff. And I already took all this out right here. And I have all this more to go. All the, Look at all these envelopes. Look at this. This is all money they spent. Big money for these photos, right? At least, I think, 20 bucks a pop. Look at all these envelopes they got. All empty now. So, that's bizarre that they're empty. Um, but look at this. Even more bags here. Brochures and just Disneyland stuff. Um, this is looking a little better, though. Okay, beads. Maybe not that much better, but a little better. We got some stones in here, some precious stuff. That might be kind of cool. Oh, that's that's neat right there. That's some good stuff. Yeah, a little bead right there, possibly silver. I don't know. Beads will sell. We can sell that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's nice. A few more interesting things I put aside. This right here. Look at this Titanic. Um, can you see the? If you can see the frame that they're showing the film strip it looks like they're identical 1998 copyright on that so two pieces i doubt that's too expensive this right here uh quicksilver pulled that out a little earlier and i saw the glasses in there uh it is the quicksilver glasses they're a little uh scratched up which is unfortunate because uh, the scratches are here and they're a little greasy i see a little scratch right there maybe these aren't too scratched up but i don't know what they're awfully awfully uh used right and then right here, I put this aside too because we got a bunch of jewelry here. Let's take a look at what we got here. Okay, nothing too exciting. Oh, that's too bad. That looks like that. That's a stone of some sort. Maybe a type of jade. I don't know. Mm. Broken pieces. Broken watch. Oh, this is broken jewelry. <laughs> that's what it is. That's what it is. Mm, too bad. I thought maybe this was something good, but nope. This is not something good. It's not good at all. Alright, well anyways. These beads are decent. At least we found that. Oh, it's about $35. I don't know, what is it? It's a pendant. It's a I don't know, but isn't it MLB? You want to see a holographic Yeah, it does. It doesn't look like this, but it does look like this. You must have put something else in there. Mm, it looks like, that's perfectly.